Hello everybody and welcome back to a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more Binding of Isaac. Unfortunately for us, we died on our last episode, but we unlocked a buttload of characters. We unlocked Icarus, Ma uh, Mammon? Who that, who, no, we didn't unlock Mammon, did we? Uh, we unlocked uh, Zack. Oh, that was it. We unlocked Zack. We unlocked um, Icarus and... No one else so far. Okay. Interesting. So, let's play as, um, Zach, shall we? Little old Zachary. Zachary? Meh. Yeah, we'll play Zachary. Let's do it. Um, I I'm honestly debating. I'm not so- I'm not sure, because... I- I want to do my first, um... My first mother kill today, and I'm not sure who to play as. I'll be truthful i'll be honest i don't know who to play as let's just play as zach why not he's a pretty he's a pretty interesting guy let's go for our first mother kill we finally have the alt path unlocked it has taken some time some time indeed okay this is gonna be rather big pain in the ass i'm gonna have to yeet my uh my shots over there just a little bit just a little bit but as for the question of the day, someone actually left one in my Discord that I want to read off. Bup, 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 bup. Where is my Discord? My beautiful Discord. Where is it? Um, What is your favourite game that you know is not good, but you can't help but love? What a fantastic question of the day. That is just... It's just great. And it's honestly such a hard one to answer. For me, it depends. Because it's like... Games now, it's... It's hard to say. Games from my childhood, however. Oh boy, I have a good few. Grants a curse, all sets up every active curse. Ooh, this thing is very good. This this is like an insanely, insanely top tier item. Like this this item is just absolutely bonkers sometimes. Now, the game I have to say is a tiny, teeny little bit more laggy than usual. Hopefully you guys can't see it or can't notice it too badly. But it's because I'm on the fucking wrong drivers. I forgot to uh, reinstall my up-to-date drivers. I'm on the Darkest Dungeon ones that I was mentioning before because I've been testing Darkest Dungeon modding, getting ready for the series. A good few of you joined the Discord, actually. It's nice to see. So if any other people out there want to get involved, want to help write some characters, or just generally be more involved in the series, join the Discord. I'd be glad to have you. Um, yeah, this guy got wrecked. What the hell's that? Mum's stockings. Aha. Uh -huh. We don't have a key! Bollocks! <laughs> I forgot we needed a key. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Let's make our way back. Let's make our way back. Why don't those fires go out straight away? What the hell? Um, I'm gonna pull out some of these fires as well. I'm not really that asked about boss rush this time. It's all about seeing mommy. Seeing good old mother. Um, but yeah, for my childhood, there's, there's one game that, for some reason, I have, like, a deep deep love for and I, I have really fond memories of it mainly because i used to go to my next door neighbor's house and play it with him and find that incredibly fun um that game is hold up wait for it that game is the simpsons skateboarding a game that is universally known to be one of the worst releases on playstation of all time. I am not kidding. It is literally ranked on the top, I think it's like top 100 or top, it's either top 10 or top 100. I can't remember. It's, it's a list on Wikipedia of like the worst released games of all time. It is literally one of said games. Um, it is, it is regarded one of the worst releases of all time. Um, and I have to admit, I find that kind of hilarious. And like, I don't remember it being all that bad, mainly because I'd I'd played other uh, skating games, and obviously it was like a knockoff of like Tony Hawk and Skate and stuff, and I had played those, but I never earned them, so I'd only really played them at friend's house, I didn't really know that much about them, and it basically, it just comes down to, it was a really poorly done knockoff of those games, with a very, like... It had a, it had a like a, a Simpsons theme, but it was a very sort of poorly done Simpsons theme. Ooh, that is a good item. It's it's a risky item, but it's a good item. I think I'm gonna take it. 
speed for money. Uh, also, when we get hit, we drop a lot of money. But also, all money drop is do all money drops are doubled. It's very, very good. I'm not quite sure what you do. I some sort of Beelzebub-looking character. You move in funky ways that I don't enjoy. Thank you for dying. Thank you for dying. I realise I haven't used my snake eyes yet. I'm waiting till we get a little bit of a stack of um, of chips going. Um, but yeah, that game, I, I just have such fond memories of. And it's apparently utter dog shit. <laughs> apparently it's just a really, really bad game. But I just have a, such a deep love for it. And I feel like I could even go back and play it now and still thoroughly enjoy it. Regardless of the fact that it's, um... Oh, for God's sake. Why'd you throw the key over there, you goddamn idiot? Um, regardless of the fact that it's it's rated so unbelievably poorly. Um, that's definitely one from my childhood. One from... Oh, that was so stupid. I was like, ooh, we'll get all of these. No, we won't, you idiot. Still, though, I, I think that picking up the, um... The damage there was not a bad choice, but the health probably would have been a better one. I'm I'm not sure, but I think secret room is oh oh no oh. no ah that didn't even fucking work bugger it might still be here I think I just missed anyways let's let's roll the dice ooh hello we got some soul stones. Unfortunately, Soul of Airwas is... Soul, Soul of Jacob and Ezel, sorry, not Airwas, is not something that we can be using. It is unfortunate, but it is so. Um, Soul of Eve, however, it's going to make our life a little bit easier. Not a lot easier. I'm still going to lose my Devil Deal to this guy. But it's going to make it a bit easier. Oh, maybe, maybe we weren't. Oh, boy, we didn't. And we get Squeezy as well, which means we can actually go into the Devil Deal and check it out. Although... Now nah, I'm gonna go Angel Deal. I haven't got Angel Deal in a hot minute. I don't. Rem I don't think we do need two bombs on the next floor, so we need to be saving our bombs. I probably shouldn't have spent that bomb looking for a secret room. Now that I think about it, um, now that I think about it, that was a little bit dumb. A little bit dumb. Oh God, she's making the fire shoot at us. Oh my God! All I can think of now is that scene from The Office where Andy's just like, "The fire is shooting at us." <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yeah, games like now that, that I know are bad but still love, that's a toughie. Can you, like, fucking get out of these fires, please, you shyster? You're absolutely pissing me off. You took way too long to kill there, my good sir. Far, far, far too much effort spent on shaking you down. Give me a key. Ooh. Eh, that's actually not that good. It's like, it'd be good if Eternal Hearts were more common. Which, I suppose if we grab Angel Keys, they are more common. But, if we grab the Angel Key pieces, they are more common. But for right now, they're not. Look at all that sweet, sweet doubled money. Okay, carefully these guys to do some funky stuff. From what I remember, yeah, they carry their bullets along with them. Which, in my eyes, is funky. Goddamn bucket heads. I'm really having a, uh, a difficult time thinking of what's my, like, game now that I know is bad but really enjoy. Um, I'm going to take the Bumble Boy. Oh, I should have taken the fucking other one. Uh, just because it's quality three, which makes me think it's better than I normally remember it being. I don't remember it being that useful, but it is cute at least. And I suppose it does do that. Okay, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, I want to kill all of them. Okay, do you know what? He's pretty decent. I, I, I think he's cute. I like him. He's generating me a bunch of little bees that are doing doing me a kindness and poisoning things and all that good jazz. I have what on earth? I I genuinely don't know what the hell these guys are. Okay, luckily they're they're all gone now. Right. Let's take our fire. Oh, it's gonna be really hard thinking of uh, of one. Do you know what? Let me quickly just pop through my Steam library and see. Um Honestly, I only really play games that are good. <laughs> um, 
This, yeah, this is, I don't know if I have a game now. Like, I only play games that are, that are good, <laughs> I think. I mean, a lot of people don't like Call of Duty, and I like Call of Duty, or like even the newer ones, so maybe that's my game. But I wouldn't say that they're universally bad. I'd just say that they're disliked in the gaming community by a lot of people. Um, anyhow. Let's, let's do our curse room first here. It is a risk I could die doing this, but... We did get an extra key out of it, so... What? Where did my holy mantle go? Wait a minute. Do you... Do you not have holy mantle as the white fire ghost until you unlock holy mantle for the lost? Is that a thing? Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be restarting real quick here. Um, honestly, this is a fantastic item, so I will be taking it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, I did not know that at all. I did not know that. I probably knew it at some point when I did the Nuzlocke, but at this moment in time, I did not know that. This is a very frustrating room. I'm really not a fan of these types of room designs where it's just like, hey, the room's easy, but we're going to make the enemies really far apart, so it takes a really long time to finish. <laughs> Such fun. Such fun. It's like, just come on, why? Why are you going to do people dirty like that? <laughs> At least make the rooms fun. Come on now. Anyhow. Oh, that was unexpected, but very good. Um... And we get ourselves this here, which is unfortunately an active, so I won't be taking it. I could just donate a bunch, but I'm not going to do that yet. Oh my god, I don't like these creepy boys. I want to take out care of the bee first, really. Okay, you are the chasey fellas. The problem with the chasey boys is they get knocked around like crazy. But yeah, I'd be really interested to hear your, your guys' opinion on, like, what your game is that you... Really? That blew up so fast. Um, that game that you know is bad, but you still enjoy. Oh my god. I love Bob's Rotten Head. People underrate the shit out of it. It just annihilates things. It's 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 actually beautiful. Um, And then, honestly, we'll take that. We are short a key once again. We, we don't have to go to the first... Um, to the first floor downpour. We can just go to the second floor. That's not like a hard requirement, but I would rather go to the first floor downpour if I can. So, especially when there's rooms available for me to finish. Retrovision here is not making things any easier, but remember before when Retrovision was like a lot worse. I guess I could play a bit. So I use a dice shard. Oh my God. No, just restart me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that first floor annoyed me. Okay, we've got a key there. I realise I wanted Bob's Rotten Head and all that sort of stuff, but that accidentally using that dice shard. Honestly, I will never, ever, ever get used to things automatically going into the active slot when you pick them up. I don't like the fucking card button being the same as my pocket active. It's stupid. I don't like it. My brain will never learn. I understand that it's simple, and the only reason that I can't understand it is because I'm a bit stupid, but I don't care. It still really annoys me. It still really annoys me, so, so there, people. So there. Deal with it. Anyways, this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode now just based on the events that have just unfolded i can't believe i went into the cash room dullard you just get so, like it just becomes so automatic that you like you remember how to do things that i got so used to just instantly walking straight into the cash room thinking i had my holy mantle because i've had the holy mantle literally my entire time 
playing um, playing Repentance. I've always had it. So I've never had to deal with not having it. Oh my goodness. This is a fucking horrendous room. Do not like this. You watched me die just again on this floor. Don't, don't test me. I'll do it. That helps. That is a fantastic pickup. Also, extra keys. Yeah. Explorer's Instinct. Absolutely insane in how good it is. You watch this purple fire steal a Satel heart right from me the moment I pick it up. I've, I'm calling it now. It's going to happen. Okay, no, it didn't. I am very, very happy it didn't. I was a bit scared there. Into the cash room for free? Kabuya? <gasps> the double soul heart drop. A rarity, but a beautiful one at that. Okay. And what item do we have in here? None. <laughs> Thanks, game. Right, let's get the hell out of this hellhole. We have the keys we need. We have a bomb ready to go for the next floor. We don't have to use bombs for secret rooms anymore. It's all looking up, children. It's all looking up. Don't look up, children. But it's all looking up, and then I called you children. Came out wrong. Don't worry about it. Anyways. Wow, speech is hard. Speech is hard. But yeah, I've been, I've been pretty excited with, with the Darkest Dungeon series coming soon. I know I'm talking about it a lot, so there's probably a few of you out there that just don't care. Um, but tough. You have to be exposed to my excitement over it. And therefore, it will make you watch the first episode and enjoy it. And therefore, be a lifelong fan of the series. It's guaranteed now. So glad I protected my eternal heart there. Um, other things that have been going on. Risk of Rain. That's been a lot of fun. I've got some plans of asking some other creators to join me for some co-op Risk of Rain. Um, I don't know when that's going to be, but I, I, have, I haven't really done any co-op uh, Risk of Rain on the channel. And I think it could be a lot of fun. It's a game that's got, like, even, especially with mods, it's got a lot of potential for funny co-op moments. So I would very much like to get down with that. Um, so if people have suggestions of people that you know I'm connected with that you'd like to see me play with. Dude, can I just not walk directly into him? Please let me know. Ooh, three mini capsules. Oh, boy. That is three that I can get behind. Wow. I like that a lot. Right, down to the next floor. Okay, this time we will not walk into the fire. No, 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 we will walk into the fire, sorry. We won't walk into the cash room is what we won't do. That's the bit that we refused to do this time. That was the bit that was stupid. I, I'm sh like the 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 thing the thing that I love about moments like that, as as, as annoying as they are, um, I just I really love the fact that like probably a good fifty percent of you out there heard that decision as I said, let's go to the cash room, and knew exactly what was coming. Like you all were like, oh shit, he's about to fuck this up. Snake eyes. Really? Like, I do wish this character would get, like, a bit of a rework. His, his premise is pretty fun, but it's so, like, it's just not impactful on your run at all, really. Like, he's a very vanilla character at the end of the day, because Snake Eyes is just so, like, you use it once every, like, 12 rooms and it gives you a heart or takes away some damage. It's just kind of like, eh, we'll get another bomb. See? What did I say? We'd get another bomb. I knew it. Yeah, it's I, it, it's a he's a character that's design-wise he's really cool, but he needs fleshing out a little bit more and adding a bit more uniqueness and the the whole aspect of gambling. They need to go way harder on that. Actually, make it proper gambling. Oh god, I have I have caught myself in a trap here. Stop skating across the water, you fucks. You move too fast for my pea-sized brain. That's another bomb. Right. Let's move along, ma'am. 
Oh god. Those guys were a bit scary. Ooh. Hello. That is what I'm looking for. I realize you're going to inhabit one of these creatures. Don't inhabit the skitter. He's already annoying enough as it is. Fuck you. Right. We need to finish the rooms because Explorer's Instinct is just super valuable. So let's uh, go down there. Also, I haven't seen my item room. That's also another very good reason. Fuck me. Something I did recently as well is um, I uh, I went back and looked through some of my older videos. Like not like really old, but like two or three weeks old. And it is just interesting to like hear what what I was doing that day and like sort of think about my thought process and like where what I spoke was like where what I spoke about came from. It's kind of interesting. One thing that would be really interesting, BD1P put out a video, like, a few days ago, which was him reacting to his first Repentance video. Would people want to see me react to my first Isaac video? Because I'm willing to bet many of you have not seen my first Isaac video. And I think that could be kind of interesting. I'm gonna go for the random. Hey, that's a much better item. Huzzah, huzzah. Sad times there. Yeah, I'm willing to bet a lot of you haven't seen that, and I think it could be interesting. Another Eternal Heart, and two hugs. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Explorer's Instinct, you are truly, truly a gorgeous beast. Anyways, let's move along. I am going to use a few bombs here, just two, just to make this fight go a little quicker, because I, I really hate fighting Min Min. Especially the first phase where he just pews, poots out like a thousand kids. Dude, just stop. Okay. So I, maybe it's the second phase I don't like. Fuck. Fuck me. Just fucking calm down. God. Any need, la lad. I, I tried to say lad, and but for some reason I just said lad. Is there any need, lad? There's always need for lad. Oh, today. Today I went all out. So, many of you probably have been hearing me witter on about my antics in, in getting fit and going to the gym. And I went on a run. I can do better than Mini Monstro. There is a chance for damage to enemies to apply to enemies at the same type scale, so 35%. That's, like, not very good. But I'm going to take it because it makes a funny noise and I like it. Um... But yeah, um, I've I, I, in my endeavours, I've been, oh for fuck's sake, I've been like running more and I went on a run today and this is my second run like on my own and honestly, really enjoyed it. This enemy sucks nutsacks. Stop spawning these flies. Nobody likes you. Oh, <laughs> go away from me, go away. Look down. Game's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I realise I said bullshit. <laughs> I stand by what I said. Fuck you. More of these? Ugh. I'm gonna throw a shit fit soon. These circly, circly enemies. Oh, fuck off. You don't deserve to live. I realise that might be harsh, but god damn. Do these enemies pee me off. The downpour is full of terror. What? Get out of here. I love the noise it makes. Goddamn Petscop. I need to watch through the, the whole Petscop pet saga again. And all the... Did I really just push that bomb away from this guy? I think I did. Yeah, I need to watch through all the, the, the videos again. Oh, dude. Stay, stay near there more often. Holy yes. Get shit on. 
Also, I don't think that's true. <laughs> oh wait, no. Actually, it could be true if um, if boss rush counts, which I'm guessing it does. Thank you for this. Ooh, a golden penny as well. I find it very interesting how certain things can spawn, regardless of if you have them unlocked based on the way that this works. But it kind of makes sense because, like, most people that are playing modded are probably playing on a 100% save file, so it's not, like, a big deal. Oh, oh, next thing to talk about, next big topic here. Did anyone else watch the the Last of Us um, first episode of the new uh, TV series on HBO? God damn, it came out yesterday uh, for me, and I watched it today with my girlfriend. Honestly, I, I am, as, as many people already know, an absolutely massive fan of The Last of Us. The last, the first Last of Us game is, is one of my favourite games of all time. The Last of Us 2 might be my favourite game of all time. Um, I think they're just absolute masterpieces. Um, I think they're fantastic. Um, and people are probably going to disagree with me because for some reason a lot of people don't like Last of Us 2. I think those people can have their opinions, but those opinions are incredibly bad. But they can have them if they want. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay, let's not fuck this up this time. Right, we don't have a holy mantle, so let's, let's be scared. Um... Yeah, and the, the TV series, honestly, oh, oh, it was so good. Like, it is, it is a very much just a retelling of the game. So, like, it's more for just, like, the wider. This isn't going well. Like, let's just go do a challenge at this point, for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> Um Let's go get blue bomber. Golden bomb sounds good to me. Where does this go to? Goes to Satan. Um Oh, this challenge is gonna be a piece of piss, cause this uh this active got buffed in Repentance, and this challenge was out before Repentance. This is going to be really easy. Because <laughs> this thing had a lot less damage before, and now it's and now it's crazy. Um, but yeah, it was it was more, more so a retelling of um, what happened in the first in the first game than anything else. But there was enough things that changed and stuff that it, it made it really good. Uh, we should look for secret rooms, really. Should look for secret rooms. Yeah, uh, it was it was fantastic. It was really, really, really well done. Everyone in it was pretty fantastic. Oh, it's pride. I'll take pride along with me. Why not? Oh, it's a champion pride. Interesting. Just... Don't let his AI die, please. That's going to be cool if it doesn't. Sometimes his AI just dies. So far, so good. And I can't, yeah, I can't believe we got a champion one of him. That's really cool. Just don't die, pride. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, this is, this is the part of the video that everyone should care about. The first little bit... The, the the first mother kill? Nah, 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 nah. We're not about that anymore. Who cares about that? Who cares about that anymore? Look at this guy go. He's destroying everything. Yeah, I, one thing I was saying like when I did my first challenge is that a lot of things changed in Repentance. And in doing that... A lot of the base game challenges kind of got fucked up. In into the point, what I mean by that is that, like, a lot of them got made a lot easier. Like, a lot easier. Um, will always cost 15 coins, plus 30 coins. Um, spawn three B familiars on pickup and upon entering every new room until another item is bought. Okay, let's just not buy anything else then. We create B's now. One of them is, is the actual letter B. I like that. I 
don't really care about that because that's just money. I can't believe my buddy's working. He's doing stuff. I love it. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure if the radius got increased too, but it certainly feels like the radius is pretty huge. And I can't believe my prideful boy is doing it. Um, I don't think damage affects anything here, so I'm just going to bounce. Yeah, I don't think damage affects anything at all. But now we get these all the time. I like these. Also, you got to remember with this challenge too, if you want, you can just skip every room. I think they always forget this when they make these sort of challenges, but it's really easy to cheese them. Because, yeah, you can just kind of leave if you don't like the, any runes. And you can do that as many times as you want. You could, like, literally not fight a single room apart from the ones that are directly before bosses if you wanted to. It's certainly plausible. Silver ring, that's nice. No point going to the shops because, um... The shops mean nothing to us. Is that a Dominic there? I'm pretty sure it is. More trinkets? No, thank you. Pride. Pride is the best. He's doing all sorts of good stuff. Have you seen him? Have you seen the pwnage he's putting onto the world right now? Good, good. We need mapping is what we need. Mapping would be pretty good. Good. More keys would also be good. Oh, fuck. This is our first hit, guaranteed. Oh, wait. Oh, pride. Yeah, that's. I, I knew it. That boss, as it always has been and always will be, is a fucking disaster. He needs a ridiculously large rework. Rework. Re re I can't believe I can't speak rework to make him at all enjoyable because at the minute he is just not in any way shape or form I'm getting hit quite a bit more now wait is this to mega sin I could go into the library, but like, what's what's going to be there that I'd want, really, at the end of the day? Um, I'm guessing that'll be for Steam sale, so I don't really want it. I will check this just in case there isn't anything there. Ooh. Actually, I should blow this guy up just in case. Good, good. Here's my, my letter B again flying around. I'm kind of like, maybe, maybe I should just take the sack room. Tomb chest thingy. Filing cabinet, we're going to call it. Bad hit. It's like... It's quite a lot of hits. I'm kind of like, maybe this will work. Ow. Why did I think that wouldn't hurt me? And then why, when I found out it did hurt me, did I try to do it a second time? And a third time. What am I doing? Stop. Idiot. Fool. Feel 
I probably should have just played that. That was a bit stupid. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's what I was hoping for, baby. Right. Let's go get that other heart real quick. Let's go, baby. Why didn't I just shortcut through here? That would have been so much quicker. Give me that. Mr. Dolly as well. Oh, hell yes. That was pretty much exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. Now, the odds need to be in our favor here. Three fails in a row so far. Four fails. Five fails. Six fails. Seven fails. Eight fails, nine fails, ten fails. Well, well then. I guess the game said no to that idea. Fifty percent chance, and we failed it ten times in a row. We failed a 50% chance 10 times in a row. That's my luck, people. That is my luck. That's how I do things. That's how I roll. I roll with incredibly poor luck all the time in every game. It's a tragedy. It's an affliction. Something I deal with every day. Right. God damn, how, was, how did that even happen? I've never seen that happen. <laughs> just bullshit. It's just bullshit is what it is. Anyhow, we have to rebuild now. Especially our HP. Our HP is now really bad. I went really hard on that gambit, expecting it to pay out. I, I do not like this. I've got... There's a little too, much too sh little too much shit on the screen to see what I should do in that situation there. I like the way the game just keeps throwing bombs at me. Like, that's what I need. That's what I do need. I need keys. Oh my god. But it gave me a soul heart back. I can accept that. Also. What's going on here? Nothing. An item. It's just fire rate. That doesn't help me at all. Soul hearts. Okay. We have rebuilt to a respectable level already. Or what I would consider a respectable level. <laughs> I just blasted him away. That was hilarious. Chariot doesn't really matter for us. Good, good. Well, thank you. Pride is doing a very good job there. Explosive radius is just nuts. He did hit me. We got an angel deal there. Um, we have golden pride now. I don't think having it gold does anything. I don't think killing the angel here does much either. But I want the soul hearts, so I'm going to do this anyways. Good, 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 good. 
Right. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it'd be cool if gold pride did something, but we kind of ha already have golden pride. Uh, I, it might actually, it might have made him bigger. I don't know. He, I can't tell. He might be bigger. Fuck this room. Fuck this room in the ass. Fuck you. Good, good. Wishburn, I don't think it's really going to pay off for us. He's a very valued helper, our good old pride here. Good old pride, buddy. Good, good. Temperance, Scratcher. I guess I'll take that. It doesn't really do anything for us right now, though. Oh, we did get a credit card there. That could be useful. Right. Fortunately, not on this floor. Not useful on this floor, which is unfortunate because it's our last shot, so... Luckily, Red Mum's actually probably the best one for us. Because she stomps and we blow up. I will check this in case there's some godly item in here. I mean, her stat would be godly if we didn't already have explosive immunity, so... Oh, there's also Libra and... Yeah, unfortunately nothing that's going to change our life here. If we didn't already have explosive immunity, her stat would be pretty incredible. But we do, so... It isn't. Right. The aim of the game here is speed. Need to worry about all of them. Wow. They all died very fast. Honestly, the bees. They are what's doing it for us right now. The bees are making my knees. No, not making my knees. I, I, I tried to make a bees, the bees knees joke, but it just didn't really work. I just kind of... Halfway through my thought process, abandoned it. But yeah, challenges like this, they they already weren't hard. It's not as if this was ever a hard challenge, but like, it got made a lot easier. I think speed is actually the better one here for us. I guess I'll blow up these guys too, why not? Apparently I also got the, the sword one there, I don't know why. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Okay, boss time. Ooh, it's a new boss. A boss that is about to die very quickly. Took, so, took him a little while to spawn in, but he's gone now. I don't know how I dodged that, by the way. I didn't even know it was coming. Oh. Holy Mantle basically makes this just a completely free win. <laughs> like, if this, was, if this wasn't already a free win, it is now. It's going to be very difficult for us to get hit now. Like, I, I mean as in, like, actually take damage. Getting hit's going to happen probably once every few runes, because I'm going to play it more risky now that I have this. God damn, the regaining rocks with this where we're exploding everything is kind of funny. And the regaining enemies as well, actually. We got a soul of cane out of that guy. I'll take that, why not? Soul of Bethany out of that guy.
There's a lot of rooms that I'm accidentally leaving early. It's not it's not intentional. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Potentially get something here to speed us up. Scarlet chest unlocked. Nice. I think we're going to reroll this. Champion belt is basically no difference whatsoever, but there you go. Oh no, my holy mantle, what will I do? Ooh, Soul of Apollyon. Nice. Uh, neither of those make any difference to us. Let's head down, let's go! I do not like the look of this room, but I'll finish it anyways. Oh my god, I love it when he gets a beam going basically as he's entering the room. So he just like, fucking wrecks things immediately. It's pretty beautiful. Oh, we got this boss. If only you didn't have like a fucking 25 second spawning animation. And we could kill you in a regular amount of time. He probably gave us a black heart anyways. Although black heart's probably more likely to be useful because he could give us quite a lot of devil items that do absolutely nothing for us. When you're blindfolded, you tend to lose a lot of the usability of many of the items that exist in the game, so... I'll give him a pass on that one. Luckily, I went every single wrong way possible to start, which is always nice. Another soul heart there. Yeah, with Holy Mantle we gain HP, we don't lose it. We just keep gaining it. Remember when, uh, before Repentance, uh, Stomps used to count as explosions? So Explosive Immunity would give you immunity to, like, so many other things. It was kind of nutty. Nice. Hello, sir. You shall be dead in a few seconds. Especially with this guy stood right on top of you. Goddamn. He's gonna do some damage. But good. On to the feet seize themselves. Easy. That is sweet, sweet, sweet victory, yeah. Golden bombs have been unlocked. Very good, very nice. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.